Hey guys, how's it going? It's me. Today is Vita number 23. Vita number 23. Um, sorry, I was just too lazy to gr grab my iPad for this, but what I've decided to do today is I compiled a list of my top 10 favorite YouTube songs. My top 10 favorite YouTube songs, meaning songs that I discovered on YouTube. Uh, people who do music on YouTube, specifically. Okay, coming in at number 10. Never by Andrew Hung, a.k.a. Songs to Wear Pants To. I really like this song a lot. It's, it's not like his usual comical music that he does, but I really like it. It's a really sweet, heartfelt song. And I'm going to be putting links down here to all the songs in my top 10 list, so you should really go check them out because they're all really awesome. Number nine, um, I just discovered this guy at VidCon last year. His name is Brandon, I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name, Skyke? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, Brandon, if you're watching this. Please don't kill me. Um, the name of the song is Love Can Last, and again, I'm going to put a link down there so you can try, go check it out. Um, again, it's a really sweet love song. This guy can really sing. I mean, if I lived in the same area as him, I would be like, you're coming to karaoke with me because you can sing really good. Um, coming in at number eight, Comic Sans by Gunnarola. It's kind of self-explanatory. Coming in at number seven, uh, Friend Zone by Your Favorite Martian. You're going to hear a lot of the same artists in this list because a lot of, I really only listen to these same few people, you know. Friend Zone, uh, probably one of my most, one of my most favorite songs that um, Your Favorite Martian has ever done because I can relate to it because I always get friend zoned every fucking time. Coming in at number six, The Vacation Song by Shane Dawson. It took a little while for me to get warmed up to this song because when I before I saw the music video, I just heard the song itself, and I was just kind of like, oh, it's kind of a mean-spirited song. Why is he saying I want to get away from this person? But then after seeing the music video, I was like, oh, that explains it. Coming in at number five, also by Shane Dawson, um, he did this song a while ago. It's called Harry Potter's Over. Because I, I cannot stand Harry Potter. I hate Harry Potter. I really do. And this song just always made me laugh. So it's, you know, I wish I could have put it up higher on the list, but I kind of had to stick it at the number five spot. Number four, Club Villain by Your Favorite Martian. This is probably one of the best house music songs that I've heard in a long time. Basically, it talks about going to this club, and pretty much everybody in this club is like a famous villain. It, it's, it's the greatest song ever. I absolutely love this song. Coming in at number three, Giffable by Gunnarola. Giffable. I, I just recently just fell in love with this song, and I've just been keep listening to it over and over and over again. It's a great song. Great song. Great Great song by Gunnarola. Coming in at number two, Super Love by Shane Dawson. Super Love will probably always be one of my most favorite songs of all. I just, I just feel an emotional attachment to this song. It is a great song. It's probably one of my most favorite songs that Shane Dawson has ever done. And then coming in at number one on my top ten music on YouTube, a song called Complicated by Your Favorite Martian. Um... This song actually really hits home with me with a particular situation that I was in for a long time. And and it's just it's just this song fit fit my situation like a like a glove. You know, like a well like oh, just I mean it just fully I mean just every single word in this song just fully flowed with what I was going through in my life at this at that time. And it's such a great song. It's got a great beat. So I decided to put it up at number one. And that is my top ten YouTube song list. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go to Vita number... 
v, my previous Vita, which would be Vita number 22. Let me jump over to this. Yeah, Vita number 22. And um, see if I had any comments. Uh, Jacob Warden 12 commented. Sub, sub again, Jacob. And Zach Carell. He says, I always can't wait to see your new vids. Great job. Thank you, Zach. And that's about it. I didn't have too many comments on my last Vita, but that's okay. It wasn't really that interesting of a Vita anyway. So anyways, guys, I guess that's about it for this Vita. Oh my god, I can't believe there's only one more week le one more week of this. One more week of Vitas. Um, and then, you know, for those of you who enjoy seeing my Vitas every day, my videos every day, I appreciate that. But I prefer to just going back to doing this one day a week because doing this seven days a week is killing me. Killing me softly. Mm. So, um, so yeah, literally I've got about eight more days of Vita's because next Friday I believe will be the last day of the Vita. Um, and when that does happen, basically I'll be doing videos again on Mondays. Mondays will probably be my main video day because that's the day I weigh in. Except for, um, September 3rd, because that day, um, Weight Watchers is actually closed, so I'll have to go in the day after, so I'll, I'll do a video on Tuesday for that week. So anyway, hope you guys are having a great day. Take care. See y'all later. See y'all tomorrow. Even. <laughs>